All right. Yeah, me and Mike took a little road trip here because uh, he fixed his generator for one of our friends. It's uh, I think it's an old Kohler. Yeah, an old Kohler. So he fixed it for him and got it running. And we we're delivering it. And uh, while we're down here, uh, it's like an old farmland. Acres, I don't know how many uh, tens, 20, 30 acres he has here. But uh, he's got a lifetime collection of stuff here. And he's got, he got everything. A lot of projects and a lot of stuff that runs. But uh, while we're down here, we're going to take a look at it. So uh, and a lot of stuff is for sale. So uh, maybe uh, some of you guys can get a, a project or something. And everything is tucked away, you know, in trailers and tents and stuff. So, a lot of stuff is uh, just scrap, you know, like this here. Somebody gave him, and uh, it was crushed by a tree or something. But, like I say, here's trailers. You know what you're going to see? Here's a Maytag. Uh, Maytag 72. And that's that's probably for sale. I'll check him. I'll ask him when I go see him in there. But he's got, he's got hit and miss engines all over the place. There's one tucked in there. It looks like an old stover, maybe. And uh, there's one back there. I'm not sure what that is, but they got hundreds of them. Hundreds of them laying around. And like I say, most of them are, some of them are projects, some of them run. So let's go. Oh, man. I think this is a reed. I'm not sure. That's crazy. Hey, Eddie, is it a, it's a reed right here? Oh, yeah, it is. It's right on there. Read. Pretty cool. Alright, let me go in here. This is workshop. He's got a got a bunch of little workshops. All kinds of engines and stuff. Milling machines and uh look at the size of this lathe here. Unbelievable. That's what that's what he's gonna run with that generator Mike just fixed. And a mailbox. Is this mailbox for sale? No. No? How about this finger brake? No. All right, you're going to have to let me know what's for sale and what's not. How about this steam engine? Yes. Is it really? Could be. All right. Price is right. All right, so it's for sale. What is it? What year? 1885. 85? 85. All right. That was a pretty good guess. It's a Springfield. Oh, yeah? Wow. Springfield. Wow. That's as old as the one that I picked That's up incredible. Out in, uh, well, what would it take to get that running, Ed? Wow. A new boiler. Hmm. Well, they get, they only allowed to have so many uh, hours on them anyway before they have to get changed, right? At least on the trains. All right, I'm not buying that. <laughs> you guys remember our buddy Bill? That's our buddy Mike. How you doing? And there's our buddy Ed. All right, let's see what's it. let's see what else you got to sell. All right, what is this thing here? Let's see, a hot air engine. Oh, a hot tube. Hot tube. Hot tube. What name? Does that have a name? Merrick, maybe. Myrick. Myrick. Eclipse. Eclipse. Myrick Eclipse. Huh. There you go, Mike. Projects for days. That's one thing. That's one thing I don't have is a hot tube engine. All right, yeah, let's move out of here. I just came across something back here. He got tucked wow. away in the corner. And it looks like wow. a five-horse domestic. I got a, I got a small one. I got the, the two, two-and-a-half domestic. But, uh, boy, that's, uh, that's a piece of gold right there. Look, it's on a car. Is that an original car, Dave? No. No. No, it was a stationary engine. Pretty cool. So this is their domestic. Yeah, yeah, that's a treasure right there for somebody. Look, he's even got something back here. What the hell is that? What are them big things right there, Ed? Steam engines. Steam engines. All right. Let's continue on before my battery runs out. He got so much stuff here. All right, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at the, the next stop. All right, here's something I just stumbled across. A, it's a six-horse stover on on a cart. What kind of cart is that? It's not a stover cart, right? No, that's an international. International. International famous. International famous. Famous cart. How about that? With a, with a Myers pump on there. Yeah. So what year was it? 1922? 23. 23. 
Well, I got something interesting over here. Hey. Take a look at this. All right, Mike's calling me. What do you got here? Oh, look. You gotta remember, Mike's a generator guy. Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at the condition of this. Yeah. Wow. GM powered. Let me get a look at it, Mike, before you start it. <laughs> wow. That looks like original paint, huh, Mike? Yeah, it, it certainly does. It even has original runs. You know, that's how they painted the equipment back then. Right. You wanted protection. You wanted the. You're not, you're not looking for beauty. You're looking for longevity. So what do you got? What do you got here, Mike? Show me. Well, it's a, it's a GM diesel. Uh, it's a 271 engine with a 30 kilowatt Delco generator end on the back. It's, it's 1800 RPM. And Eddie, you said this uh, came out of a Dell, uh, Dell, Bell telephone installation. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nicely outfitted. Uh, hmm. It's got the, the, the full control panel package on it. And it's got the automatic engine start control, which is over here. It's oh, yeah. just in really great shape for its wow. age. Wow. Well, it's probably inside, right? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them were in trailers, but most of them were in, permanently installed in a building. And probably most of them only been start one twice a year, and most of the time probably just for uh, yeah. maintenance. Well, the hour meter only says 711 hours on it, so that's that's believable, you know, for test run time. Oh, what we got up here? Uh, that's the that's an early automatic voltage regulator. Do you mind if I take this cover off? Let no, me... go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a an early style automatic voltage regulator. I forget the exact uh, the exact term that you call hmm. these. I'll so. see that. All right, explain stuff, Mike. Well, Let so you can run it. You can run it manually with manual regulation. I got it. You got? I got that. I got. Thanks. Yeah. So you can run it manual regulation, but you can also uh, run it automatic regulated. And this is the automatic regulator. So, like I said, I forget the I forget the the term for all this, but essentially there's a solenoid coil back in under here, back behind. You right. can't really see it. Mm -hmm. And that solenoid coil varies its its strength of Pull depending on the output voltage of the generator and that solenoid coil pulls on this mechanism here and rocks this oh yeah see this is a, a strip of graphite or carbon on the bottom of this beam here mm -hmm. and that shorts out or connects to these these are copper br not brushes but contacts similar to like a commutator on a DC motor so it's it connects this carbon to the different Carb or to different copper brushes, and each brush or each pair of brushes is connected to a resistor inside here. So as the voltage output of the generator increases or decreases, it moves this around, and it taps those resistors which are in the field circuit for the generator. So you change the field resistance depending upon the output voltage, and that changes the output voltage. Right. So you get a balance with the springs here between what you want the voltage to be and what the output voltage is. And as a load will increase, say the, the terminal voltage will go down, the solenoid, the, the solenoid coil will drop out, the regulator beam will move, it'll go to a different tapped resistor, which will give it more field current, which will boost the voltage back up. Hmm. So it's a, it's a mechanical voltage regulator, way wow. before electronics were even a thing. And a, a, the blink in the RCA engineer's mind, you had these. Interesting. So, I mean, and it's wow. just the interior of the control panel, can you see in there? Uh, hold see, this. Okay. Look, look right beside there. You see these resistors? Okay. Right, right over here. See these wire wound resistors? Oh yeah. Okay. Those are the resistances that are tapped on those copper bars. So you're selecting different resistances, and you can see, see that the thickness of the windings here, the thickness of the wire that's wrapped here, right. versus over here. So these are higher resistance resistors. That wire provides a higher resistance compared to what's down here. Right. So, you yeah. know, it's it's like a linear chain. It's top of the line for the day. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just the, the circuit breaker, the, all the wiring is is hand wrapped with uh, twine. It's yeah, it's unlike anything that will ever be built again. Right, right. So, you know, hmm. you have that and then over here is the auto start box. Interesting. So, and look look at look at these springs that it's mounted on. See these big springs? Oh, uh, yeah. See, look at this. Mhm. Mm Oh yeah, yeah, look at that, look at the whole yeah, box. Yeah. Huh. So that's for vibration, because these do shake around quite a bit. Right. You got your auto start controls there. 
got a wiring schematic, and of course has a, wood, a Woodward hydraulic governor on it for speed regulation. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, wow. this is top of the line package. You couldn't you couldn't really get something more durable than this. It's pretty well featured too. You got synchronized lamps on it. So this is a, a that's interesting stuff. A beautiful setup. And probably really I'm, interesting. I'm jealous. It's, like I gotta say, it's interesting. It's probably really interesting to someone that's into generators and stuff. Yeah. All right. Wow. I'm glad you showed me that, buddy. Yeah. All right. We got more stuff to look at. Here's another tractor. I think uh, we got a, a couple trucks in there. You got a couple. Uh, that's a nice truck. That's a nice camper you got there, buddy. You use that much? No. No? I don't think anybody that does it buy it. Don't you use that to go down to uh, I did. Huh. Well, here's another tractor over there. And this, this big uh, building here, I think there's a couple trucks in there. We'll go look at them later. I think our buddy Bill's got to leave soon. You got to leave soon, Bill? Yeah, what? Yes, I am. All right. Well, hang around. We'll unload this uh, engine. Another one, eh? that's a nice uh, forklift. I think that's the one we're going to use. Yeah. All right. Hey, this should be an easy removal here. It's on a pallet. You don't realize how heavy that is until you see it in Mike's truck. I think Mike said that's a 250. Good catch. Uh, here's that reed I showed you earlier. And uh, I think Mike just bought it. 25 horse reed. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a very desirable engineer. Good deal, buddy. Check us out, Mike. What, what is it? What does it say? Can you read? The Cox and Sons Company, Bridgeton, New Jersey. So this was a patent model, you think? I think. Wow. Put your hand in, Mike. Show how big that is. Hmm. Look at that. Look how big that model is. Not even a model. I wouldn't call that a model. Although, what'd you say? The original, a, a real one is how big? Like the one in the shop. When they made them from six to a thousand horsepower. Six hmm. to a thousand horsepower. Cute little uh, balls, balls to the walls. Hmm. Governor, governor balls there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at that, number one model, number one. In old, uh, probably early 60s, B61. Mac, tow truck. Pretty cool. He's got another one, he's got another uh, B model in, uh, in one of his sheds here. That was in pretty good shape. I think we'll take a look at that. Pretty cool. Somebody gave it. They were going to scrap this and ask him if he wanted it. And he said, yeah. That's how, that's how these old farmers get most of this stuff. You know? People are going to scrap it and they say, yeah, I got a place to put that. And that's where it goes. All right. Let's go look at uh, something else. Another hit and miss. Was this a Fairbanks or something? Yes. What, how many horse? Four? Six. Six. It's for sale. It's Is it? Six. Yeah. There you go, it's something for sale. It's got a mag on it, got the Bosch mag, right? AB33 mag on it? No, it's got the, the impulse gear, impulse mag. Oh, the rotary mag? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. 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 yeah. this is where you find all this stuff, you know? The old farmers. All right, let's go in here. This is where you get an old B-model. Hey, Mike, this is a, a gas-powered Mac. A gas engine? Huh? Gas engine. Come here, check us out. Look out for the bees. There are a lot of bees in here, buddy. Yeah, this thing looks horrible, but it's actually in really good shape. 
it looks like somebody might have painted it a few times with a brush and put latex on it, but that actually preserved it. Look, you see where the old paint's cracking off? So it'll come right off. It's because they had a tarp over it. Oh uh, yeah. That didn't help and, and some of the body work and stuff, but it's you know it's it's solid. Watch the way this door opens. Look at that. And watch the way it closes. Look at that. Crazy. Man, that's a nice sound. It is, it is, man. Everything is you know these these hinges aren't wore out or nothing. I didn't climb in there, Mike, and uh, look at the, the mileage, but you know. This this wouldn't be this wouldn't be a problem to restore at all. And it's the kind of stuff you don't mind restoring. You, there's no doubt in your mind. You know you can't leave it like this. You know you gotta you gotta restore it. Is a job for you. Mike loves his wiring. Oh yeah. Oh look, here's a couple more uh, hit and miss. You like your Fairbanks, huh? Yes, I do like Fairbanks. Huh. What's this other one here with the with the mag on it? This is uh, a Jagger. Uh, Jaeger. 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 Jagger. Everybody calls them something different. More, more Morse uh, up there. And here's another one. Uh, an in in Gecko. Cool. In Gecko. Got a mag on it and everything. What's this little one here? That's a Field Force. Uh, I never heard of that one. Wow. Pretty cool, man, I'm telling you. All right. All right, I climbed in here to uh, see how many miles is on here. It looks like it's just over 100,000. I don't know how well you guys could see that, but it's 102,000. And uh, that speedometer is usually pretty accurate like that. You know, it's not like uh, you got to guess. You know, it's actually uh, 102. And you tell by the, the shape of this thing. Hardly any rot. The only rot I've seen in it was over there, that floorboard right in the corner. Looks bad, but it's not bad at all. <laughs> even even the, the seat. The original seat here. And that one here looks like it's not ripped at all. Pretty cool. Alright, here's uh, here's some more. Here's another one another one of them Eclipse Hot Tubes. Merrick. And then, uh, what's that one right there, Mike Pony? A bulldog. That's a bulldog. Bulldog. And there's a light plant Fairbanks right there. Yeah, a light plant. And then a couple more Fairbanks over here. And then look like a little baby John Deere back there. On the ground. No, no. Did we get through there? There's a little John Deere. They did that twice. Another Fairbanks. And then, uh... The second time, somebody comes a skunk. Be quiet. Be very, very quiet. Don't, don't, don't startle him. Don't startle that son of a bitch. Look at him. Uh oh. He don't see me. Look at him. We better get out of here. Yeah. Look, he sees us now. This is don't run. Right? Don't scare him. We came back here. We came back here to look at the lake. Look at that. He, he don't mean no harm. He's coming towards us, though. So. All right. He's following me. Look at Mike. Uh oh. The dog. The dog wants to go skunk and get skunked. Oh well, that's what happens when you. Look at that. Look at him. He's coming. He's following us. All right. I just seen this. Uh, looks like a little. Uh, Fairmont uh, railer and little trains. My buddy Rob uh, has a few of them, and uh, I'm taking this video for him in case he sees something that's uh, worth saving on this, like the wheels or the. I don't know. You know, it looks like looks like scrap iron to the average person, but to somebody that owns this, maybe there's a good part on here or two that he could use. Maybe it has some value. Like I say, it has two two tracks on it. Can't see it, bad lighting, but uh, doing the best we can. You know, I don't know if them pulleys are hard to get or what, but anyway, I, mean, I don't even know that it's an engine there. I don't know if you can see that. Like I say bad lighting, but uh, I don't know. Like you say 
could be dunk, could be scrap iron, could be uh, something on here that somebody could use. So, all right. There you go. I stumbled on something here. It's funny, you know. This, to the average eye, this stuff looks like scrap metal, but these are these right here are very sought after engines here. Very high dollar sought after engines. And he's got these under the trailer. One of them is uh, looks like a a Waterloo, a Monarch, and a. And a the other one's a banner. But these are a very high dollar engines here. Need a lot of work. Not not a lot of work, but uh, need work. But uh, well worth restoring. Alright, Mike, what do you say? We get out of here? I think we've seen a lot. Alright, hey, thanks yeah. a lot, man. Take care, guys. Alright, we're going to get out of here. What a place. Unbelievable. Alright. Oh, look. How much for the dog? Not for sale. Uh, that's a man's best friend right there. That's a good dog. That's, that's the nicest dog I've seen in a long time. Didn't say nothing. Didn't say nothing until he came up. He goosed me. And then uh, that was it. Never barked. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you later.